Top 10 Most Villainous Targaryens, Ranked House of the Dragon has depicted some very evil Targaryens like Aemond, Aegon, and Daemon, but that's just the tip of the iceberg that House Targaryen is. With some rulers as nice as the old King Jaehaerys and some crazy rulers like the Mad King, House Targaryen is filled with people who are extremely good and extremely vicious. Let's explore the 10 Targaryens that we think are the epitome of evil. By the way, beware of the spoilers. Number 1. Maegor the Cruel. Much like the Mad King, Maegor the Cruel earned his name by committing some of the worst acts in the history of the Targaryen dynasty. The son of Aegon the Conqueror and Visenya Targaryen, this evil king started his violent streak by slaying the cats of King's Landing, and his love for violence earned him the opportunity to serve as a knight's squire, and he started to learn the tricks and trades of war. By the age of ten and six, Maegor had become a knight, and after Aegon, the Conqueror, died, Maegor's elder brother Annas sat on the throne. Although Maegor served Annas well as his hand, the two brothers fell out when Maegor took a second wife, an act that shocked Westeros. Maegor was banished, and he left with his dragon, Balerion the Black Dread. Annas had named his son Aegon the heir to the Iron Throne, but after Annas's untimely death, Maegor usurped the throne. He started by killing everyone who opposed his claim. Later, he started building the Red Keep and Maegor's Holdfast, but slaughtered the men who took part in the construction because he did not want anyone else to know the secret tunnels, passages, and dungeons of the Red Keep. Not only did he kill his nephew and rightful heir, Prince Aegon, but also several innocent small folk, Septons, and Scepters. It was said in the book, that once Maegor killed almost 2,000 innocent people and brought their heads back to King's Landing. Number 2, Ares II, the Mad King. Ares II was infamous for being the Mad King, and clearly, he was the biggest blot on the face of the Targaryen dynasty. However, he was not this way since the beginning, once upon a time, he used to be a sane and handsome man, but things changed when he got abducted by Lord Dennis Darklin of Duskendale for six months. Ares II became paranoid of treachery after this and started killing people by wildfire for even the most trivial of defiant behaviors. He inflicted upon his younger son Viserys a horrible childhood by keeping him away from everyone and not allowing him to make friends. In fact, Ares II did not even leave his wife alone with Viserys. By the end Ares had turned completely insane and wanted to destroy all major structures of King's Landing, an act that would have killed people by the thousands. It was Ares's decision to kill Ned Stark's father and brother that led to Robert's rebellion and brought the end to the Targaryen dynasty. Check out the link in description for the coolest House of the Dragon merch. Number 3. Aegon the Unworthy. Aegon IV, was a terrible king who earned the infamous adjective of unworthy after he displayed several qualities of a lecherous man who thought only about women and wine. His sole purpose in life became sleeping with women, both highborn and lowborn. He would reward those who could bring him young maidens or innocent wives, and filled his court with flatterers instead of noble and honorable men. Once, he impregnated, in one night, the three maiden daughters of a lord named Butterwell, and rewarded him for his so-called services. On his deathbed, he legitimized the several bastards that he had, a decree that was a bitter poison that would lay the seeds to generations of war, bloodshed, death, and woe to the realm. Number 4, Prince Aemond One-I. Aemond Targaryen rode a dragon whose size equaled the giant menace that Aemond himself was. The last rider of Vagar, Aemond One-I, was plagued with the feeling of revenge against the blacks ever since Prince Luke took out one of Aemond's eyes. Since then, the prince made it his life's sole mission to destroy his stepsister and her sons, whom he thought were bastards. Later, Aemond changes the course of the dance when he kills Luke and his dragon Arax. 
From that moment onward, Rainer returned super violent against all the Greens, a fear that had consumed Alicent and Otto after Aemond returned to King's Landing. Later during the Dance of Dragons, Aemond destroys House Strong and takes a bastard named Alice Rivers as his concubine. Number 5. King Aegon II Targaryen. Here we have Aegon II, a lecherous prince who was pushed to sit on the Iron Throne by his friends and family, but he was in no way suited or equipped for the mighty task. I have no wish to rule, no taste for duty, I'm not suited! And get no argument from me! His father, Viserys, was also not a good king, but at least, he was a good man. But King Aegon was a drunkard who enjoyed getting innocent handmaidens to his bed rather than ruling. By the end, he started to enjoy cruelty and sadism, so much so that he fed his enemies to his dragon son Fire. When the king became too weak to make love, he forced others to do each other while the king watched. However, he knew about his perversions and would cry and beg the seven for absolution. Number 6, Prince Daemon Targaryen. Daemon Targaryen was the most skilled swordsman of his time, but he was an equally vicious person. Now, you're a pack of hounds, sated and pwned for the hunt. Oh! He brutally slaughtered hundreds of thieves and criminals in King's Landing when he was the Lord Commander of the City Watch, and he laughed over the death of his infant nephew. He murdered his lawful wife, married Lena Valerian for the power and wealth of her house, he smooched his niece at an orgy in a brothel and later married her. But his worst mistake has to be sending cheese and blood to kill young Prince Jaehaerys, an act that cannot be forgiven. Daemon was never a good husband, father, or brother, and neither was he a good man. Number 7. Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen. Rhaenyra Targaryen was once hailed as the realm's delight, and she did become the queen for a few days. never hold the kingdom together. Many parts of the reason lie in how she managed her armies and supporters. She practically did not blink an eye when Daemon ensured the death of Aegon II's son, a crime that is condemnable in even the most evil of circles. Also, when she took charge of King's Landing, she started beheading people and mounting their heads on spikes. Because the treasury was empty, her master of coins started increasing taxes and levying new ones, and the people of King's Landing went against her. Next, when the dragon seeds Ulf White and Hugh Hammer turned their cloaks, she believed that the other two, that is, Nettles and Adam Valerian, would also betray her. She became paranoid and ordered their murders, a wrongful decision, because it was based on fear and no logic. Number 8, Prince Viserys Targaryen. Prince Viserys Targaryen, the brother of Daenerys, was celebrated as the King of the Seven Kingdoms on Dragonstone when Jaime Lannister killed the Mad King. However, the young prince could not stay in Westeros for the mortal fear of his enemies, and had to run for his life. During the course of this arduous journey, Viserys started to lose his mind. He was always somewhat of a difficult child because the Mad King kept him under strict supervision since his birth, turning him into a loner. Kill these Dothraki dogs! I am your king! After the Mad King's death, Viserys begged every wealthy and powerful man of Pentos, Lys, etc., to support his cause, and he earned the title of the Beggar King. Later, he often unleashed his wrath upon his younger sister, who bore his atrocities. Viserys was a weak, sadistic, and cruel man, who could not have won the Seven Kingdoms even if he had a million soldiers. Number 9. Queen Visenya Targaryen. Queen Visenya Targaryen came with her younger brother and husband, Aegon the Conqueror. After the conquest was over, Visenya, Aegon, and Rhaenys Targaryen ruled together. Aegon had a son named Annas with Rhaenys and named him the heir to the Iron Throne. However, when Aegon died, Visenya started plotting to supplant her son Maegor with Annas. She even gave Maegor the sword named Blackfire, which belonged to Aegon the Conqueror. 
Annas had named his son Aegon the heir, but when Annas died of illness, Visenya ensured that Magor usurped the throne. It started a series of nasty rebellions and battles. Visenya could have checked her son from doing terrible things, but the queen simply watched. Number 10, Daenerys Stormborn. Daenerys Stormborn's beginnings were unhappy and cruel, she was forced to flee her home with her older brother and live as a rich nomad. She tried her best to remain a good person, but in the end, she became much like her father, the Mad King. After facing the betrayal from Lord Varys, she became rather paranoid. Also, she would punish people with dragon fire, much like the Mad King punished people with wild fire. In her attempts to break the wheel of oppression of the poor, she destroyed King's Landing and killed thousands. But she did not want to stop there, given her way, she would have destroyed the entire world. That's all for this video. Who was the worst Targaryen ever? Let us know in the comments, and stick around for more exciting content. Check out the link in description for the coolest House of the Dragon merch. Stay safe and have a good one.